Uh, I love that I made it here this morning even before the supervisor showed up. So um, today I got X88 RXS, which is right over here. Um, like, I gotta say, it's um, like, I, I was thinking about it while I was um, there because yesterday I drove X87. Today I'm driving X88. So, you know, remember how I said in yesterday's video that I couldn't think of a nickname for, um, I couldn't think of a nickname for X87? Well, I decided to call it Rachel only because, like, I remember one time naming X88, which I've driven before, Le Leah. Um, not, not referring to Leia, the Star Wars character. I'm referring to, um, Jacob's wife in the Torah. So, it, you know, basically basically you know that's that's where i'm coming from with that because um one time i was assigned a wheelchair van and you know i didn't want to and basically like it was this van that warmed me up to driving the wheelchair vans again and everything and it wasn't bad and stuff anyway it was that and a few other instances that convinced me to you know just be cool with the wheelchair vans and you know now i am Either way, let's get to the pre-trip. Uh, well, uh, if you wonder why I often spray down the vans with Lysol, uh, um, it's not that I don't have confidence in the cleaners, and sometimes I don't. Um, it's just basically, the, with COVID numbers getting back up and everything, like, I don't want to take any chances. Especially because... Oh, right, that, that door. Um, like, I need to um, deactivate something in that door. But basically, I, I even have friends that recently we tested positive to COVID, it, which there was a number of things that happened to this friend of mine and everything. First off, first off, um, he, just, he just lost his brother. His brother just passed away um, very recently. And second, second, um, his wife, um, his wife is already dealing with asthma and stuff. Like, very close friend of ours. Like, we've known them for almost 10 years now. Uh, and basically, I got worried when she, when, um, she was admitted to the hospital. She's home now. Uh, um, in fact, around the time of recording this, like, she's right now, um, resting at home safely. It's just, you know, I got really worried and really nervous and stuff. And, you know. Oh, just happy that everything's okay. It's just, like, don't take any chances, people. Oh, like, I know um, one good friend of mine where um, during the during the height of COVID, like, like her, like her husband was, um, it was just going to have like um, just some regular surgery, but then COVID immediately came in contact with his body. And he was killed instantly. So, don't take, like, I'm not taking any chances personally. So, I got a 6 to 11.30 shift today. Trying to get on a more positive note now after saying all that. And, you know, oh, it should be the same as usual. Right now I got a half tank, but I'm not even going to go to the gas station right away. What I'm going to do is wait until I get a series of pickups and then... I'll go to the gas station, fill up, and then drive, and then drive and stuff. Because, like, if I move and everything, it'll be just too much. And I didn't even eat breakfast yet. I did go to the deli this morning to get myself something. And, you know, all together, we'll see how the day goes. You'll see how my first line run is by the next hard cut. <sighs> you kind of missed it. I wish this was on camera. Um... There was a lady that um, came to use the outhouse here at the lot, and you know I'm blasting music and stuff. And basically, um, one of the songs I have playing is "Memories" by Roa. I'll put the link in the description, and and like you might agree with her if you listen to the song and stuff. Where um, and she said it sounds like the music to the ice cream truck, which was kind of funny and stuff. Uh, she's like, "It's too early for ice cream," but I was like, "Oh, never mind." And it's 5.46 right now. Uh, but, yeah. Yeah, like, I'll put the link in the description. And you're welcome to um, subscribe to her YouTube channel as well. And also follow her on SoundCloud like I have. 
All right, so um, I was able to finish a line run. Like, what a, this one passenger that I dropped off, she's really sweet. Like, almost everyone with the ADA um, access is, is just the sweetest. Like, like you're, you're risking diabetes talking to some of these people. Anyway, all right, like, she was mentioning about how, like, the songs that I play and everything, they're nice and relaxing and stuff. It's like 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 can i get some music that could just help me go to sleep and you know i mentioned that she could she could follow me on spotify i it's just my regular name raymond waters and basically um i have a, ni a nice collection of wholesome playlists with some nice music and everything and like um the playlist that i'm playing today is what i call parrot key which is based on a future project that I'm currently working on that will be coming in a few years um, and everything, which is, of course, based on my book series, Raymond Waters Imagination. Uh, I'll put the link in the description to the playlist that I'm currently playing. But um, if you want to know more about Parakey, you could become a Patreon member at patreon.com forward slash dream journal projects, where you'll be able to learn more about this. Okay, here's the weird part. I got about a half hour left before I want to head back to the lot. So technically, I got an hour left for my entire shift in general. The thing is, is that I'm over here by Hudson Mall, which um, if you go a little bit down and everything, go go further up. Like you could get by Edge Avenue, and we could, and I could easily get back to the lot. The thing is, <coughs> excuse me, hey, like. I don't want, like, I at this point, I want to make sure that my hours are good for next week. So, I'm purposely making sure that um, I can at least drag out um, a good amount of time. If I get one more passenger, I get one more passenger. And, you know, maybe it'll be a close by, um, it'll be a close by run. So, that way, I don't need to go too far. Only because of the fact that, you know... I just want to, frankly, just get the whole day over with so I could be able to just go home and relax and everything. The day has been good. The day has been really good. Like, there's, there's certain elements that, you know, I wish could have been a little bit better. But, you know, altogether it hasn't been too bad. Now, payday-wise, my paycheck is good. Like... Like, my paycheck is really good for this week. It's just, at this point, I just care about, I just care about ensuring that I'm able to, um, I'm able to, to finish, um, to finish with a good amount so that I could be able to have early slot selection next week. Because right now, it's just that awkward time and everything. If you recall this from about a month ago, when I was able to try to see if Chuck E. Cheese was open because I heard reports that the, that there um they this one still has an indoor jungle gym. I looked inside and I think they got rid of it, unfortunately. Like everyone is getting rid of theirs. Like the only ones that still have theirs is basically all the places that Blippy go to. But that's that. Uh, either way. Like I'm just I'm just gonna wait in the van for another few minutes. Watch is gonna be like 10:49. Right now it's about 10:43, and then I'm gonna get um, a passenger. Watch, cause that happens. That happens. So, yeah, like, like, honestly, by the next hard cut, I'll be back at the lot. So we might as well skip to that. It is 11.03, and ladies and gentlemen, I am done. Yeah, turns out I had no more passengers, which I am super happy about. Like, seriously. Like, if I would have had um, one more passenger or something, fine. I would have I took care of it. But the fact that I had no more was just a major relief. And, you know, I didn't park too far from my truck, which I often park next to Colony right here. Here, which I don't think I don't think it's even um, in the I don't think it's even in service anymore it's just here gathering dust but then again so is drama queen like 
I would, I would honestly take Colony over Drama Queen if you ask me. Eh. But yeah, Leia is a good van. Um, Leia or Leah, like however you want to pronounce it and stuff, like, um, but hey, that's that. So, yeah, she just needs an oil change and that's really it. But other than that, I'm happy that, you know, I was able to come back and everything and um, thankfully it's not as hot as yesterday hey i mean i did kind of start my ac i i did kind of preset my ac to start a little bit later than i wanted to and stuff because i thought i would be back home at around noon and stuff but so i had to be set like between 12 and 1 ish i believe but that's that all i know is like I could still be able to finish off the rest of the Starbirds gummies that I have and everything. Like, um, um, yeah, like, um, when I was getting breakfast, I saw that there was Starbirds gummies available. And I wanted to see if they were better than Starbirds Airs. Way better. Er, er, like, they have a lot of similarity to the Skittles gummies. But, like, they're really good. Because the Starbirds Airs was kind of disappointing to me. Like... My favorite Starbucks flavor is lemon. It's lemon and cherry. Everyone got their own preferences, and if you want, you can sound out in the comments which preference, um, what's your favorite flavor. But hey, hey, like the Starbucks airs, like the lemon didn't taste as good to me. The Starbucks gummies to me is just way better. They taste better. I'm like, mmm, this this is great. Like it's awesome. So that's that. Like, yeah, it was a good drive today. I was able to get from point A to point B in no time. Uh, now I can relax and, you know, just go home. And, yeah, like, the few times I'm going to be out, out of my room is when I get what is when I eat and when I take out the trash, which will be later on. Other than that, like... Like, I, I, if if there's a fire in my house, like, I, I'll, I, like I'll just I'll just like sleep it out. Like, <laughs> that's how tired I am. Of course, I would get out in the event of an emergency and everything. Like, we almost had what? Well, like, we we almost had to like evacuate our house about a month ago because like there was a storm, a, a small storm that occurred that. You know, normally doesn't seem like a big deal, but uh, then um, suddenly uh, we, there was a case uh, a case on our neighbor's property next door, or where um, something that was on the, their premises uh, was affected by the storm, and it could have damaged our house. So you know, we had to briefly get out, and you know, they were able to take care of everything the very next day. And that was it. And ironically, it happened the same weekend I was able to establish my micronation, the kingdom of imagination. Which, again, for context, it is not for, it is not, it does not have any political agenda. In fact, even the form of government is just a simple monarchy. That's it. it um... Um, like I, I reestablished it as a simple monarchy. At, f at first, it was something else, but the, um, it, the way that I had it initially, some would have been definitely confused. And um, the main goal is just to be able to sponsor my book series, Raymond Waters Imagination. Now, um, yeah, I did see um, recently that there is. I announced that there was going to be an update to my latest book imagination at sea only because of the fact that um there was something that i had written at the time that um kind of changed lore wise eyes um with the projects that i'm working on because i'm way ahead like if you want to know some updates about it like you Feel free to click the link in the um in the description to well not necessarily in the description but basically those um if you're on your mobile device um you'll see the icon that mentions um um the official WhatsApp the official WhatsApp channel for the Kingdom of Imagination 
And also, you're just welcome to follow me on Twitter or X at, um, at DJ underscore underscore projects. Twitter sounds better. I'm sorry. Elon, why did you change the name? Anyway, um, like, nothing against, nothing against Elon Musk. Like, again, I've driven a Tesla for the very first time, and, like, the Model X is the best car that I've ever driven. And second best is, of course, my own truck. But, <laughs> But yeah, that's that. Uh, um, yeah, the updates that I'm give I'm bringing is basically with regards to um a project that uh, where I was able to complete the rough draft very recently, and I wanted to go a little bit more in line with the lore a little bit, so that way um, so that way um it it could be like well established and everything. Thing. So, oh, um, that's that. I'm, yeah, ready to go home and just relax. See y'all later.